today on Blind Date. Are you surprised? Kinda, but I'm. Mean, who cares? He calls himself Mighty Mike. And what do you think about dating a little man? I think you're just as normal as anyone else. And he's got mighty big plans. The sex thing happens, it happens. Plus, you're a hippie, right? I believe in, in heightening your consciousness. Can this marine deflower this flower child? I hear there's a lot of sex involved in being a hippie. It all begins now <laughs> on Blind Date. Roger Lodge here once again from the fabulous Blind Date Studios. Great to have you with me for more dating action. So what do you say we go ahead and get right to it? And we'll start by setting up Alea and Anthony. Now, Alea describes herself as a funky hippie chick who's superstitious and mystical. At the opposite end of that spectrum is Anthony. He's a Marine whose hobbies include martial arts, skydiving, and every once in a while, you know, I, I am a single guy, and I do like to have sex occasionally. I'm a dirty, hippie, punk partier. I feel like I'm still kind of geeky because I play role-playing games, and you know, I hang out with a lot of geeky people. And well, The longest I've gone probably is like a week or something like that, without, without taking a shower. I'm looking for a relationship, but I'm really picky. My, my mom would love it if I brought a preppy guy home. Well, maybe she can bring Anthony home. You never know. Hi. Hi. Anthony. Anthony nice Alea. Alea? Nice, nice to meet you. you. Walk? What else do you do? Um, I was fundraising for the Democratic National Committee. <laughs> trying to get John Kerry on the good. It didn't work out too well. So you're political? Uh, no, not really. I just did that because I felt like I should do something to try and help the country. I help the country too. Yeah? What do you yeah. do? I'm a Marine. Oh. Yep. <laughs> United States Marine Corps, seven years. Are you going over there Already been. You been there? Been there, done that. I want to go back. I got a year left in. I get out next November. Like, what do, you, what do you, how do you practice? Well, I believe in God and Jesus Christ, and, you know, I, I believe that Jesus died for our sins and everything, but I also believe in, like, a greater energy, a greater mm -hmm. something out there, along the lines of God, but Ten hut! Yeah. we're all interconnected with that thing, you know, like, we all share like a certain energy. How do you feel about the war and everything then? My whole philosophy on war is if, unless they pick a fight with us, and I don't think you should be involved with anything. All right, what we're gonna do, my little treat, I would like to read your tarot cards. Nice. Like, I just don't understand how you can be a Marine. I mean, a Marine actually introduced me into to Wiccan. Right. And he was full blown Wiccan. Mm -hmm. He was, he wore he wore medallions and jewelry all over the place, and he uh -huh. preached about it. And, and you know, because it's a, a subtle religion, right. we don't go around and go on, on TV and say, no, right. "Go Wiccans." Mm -hmm. um, I believe my perspective from Wicca is, uh, I try to help everybody. Yeah. So. thought about joining the military? No, not at all. I mean, that's, I really, I want to understand, like, how is being in the Marines, I guess, how do you feel like that goes along with your beliefs? Or... I got in to see the world. Like, uh -huh. my uncle was a Marine, and uh, I loved, you know, I, I loved everything about him, and I uh -huh. wanted to be a Marine. He made me want to be a Marine. I'm proud, I'm proud to be a Marine. I mean, it's a great thing. All right, let's talk about you. 
Mm -hmm. You're a hippie, right? Well, I, I, I believe in, in heightening your consciousness and um, living consciously and, and I think... I hear there's a lot of sex involved in being a hippie. <laughs> this is what I heard. It's a yeah, rumor. Free love and all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love everybody. Mm -hmm. Are you a sex fiend? I kind of like a little rough. Well, I like rough. You know, yeah, and I like rough. Passionate, I think, and you know, a little biting and. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Spanking and. No blood drawing or nothing. Like. Yeah, no blood drawing. I like hair pulling and stuff. That's fine. Yeah, hair pulling is good. Yeah. I don't shave under my arms or my legs. It's surprising. Or else. Yeah, or <laughs> <laughs> anything at all. Or my little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exactly the opposite. Shave my face, shave my chest, shave my... Uh-huh. All right, my skinny dip. All right. You're the, you're the... No clothes one. You can flick her around and they can... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, lead the way. Dude, what? Oh, I can lead the way. Are you a good kisser? Mm-hmm. You think so? I've been told so. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been told I am too. Yeah. You had a good time? Yeah. Oh, there you too go. sweet. My there you goodness. Go. I think I took it from your house, but that's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. That's what it's there for. Get the nice flower going on, so have a good night. Good night. And see you talk to you. Yeah, later. Uh -huh. okay. All right. Well, bye. Good night. Well, apparently Marine Boy's willing to look past the hairy armpits. Ah, yes, the few, the proud, the desperate. Post a comment on the way. Up next. Do you ever feel bad about your tush? I always feel good about my tush. <laughs> this little man's got big game. Once you start the bump and grinding and then that, <laughs> then you'll be all over the floor. That's next. I'm exactly the opposite. Shave my face, shave my chest, shave my... Uh, uh-huh. Now, we've had some smooth guys on this show, but that's a little much. Let's see if Marine Boy is up for another tour of duty with Nature Girl. The fact that Alea doesn't shave kind of turned me off. I didn't like that too much. Kind of freaked me out. I don't think Anthony mind that I don't shave my legs because he was certainly enjoying the sauna a lot. When I first saw Alea today, it kind of turned me off because she was a little on the heavier side and she looked a little older. I think Anthony and I have really similar spiritual beliefs and that was really nice. I don't want a second date with Alea. I would actually want to date Anthony. I wouldn't want to just hook up with him. I kissed Alea because I felt bad for her. Ah, those Marines, so caring. All right, now let's move on and see what we can do for Brandy and her date, Mike. Now, Brandy calls herself open-minded and asks us for a quirky, playful guy. So we're going to hook her up with Mike. He says he's been looking for love for a while now, but he keeps coming up a little bit short. I've met over several dozens of little person girls, and uh, 
Uh, there hasn't been a sparks flying yet. I don't like losers, like people that live with their parents and don't have any drive. I'm going for a girl that's in good shape. My downfall is that I'm blunt and brash and honest. You know, I lift weights, see? All right, tough guy, let's put the guns away. There's only one person you need to impress, and that's Brandy. Good luck, pal. of guys. If it's a boy, I'm all about it. I like tall, short, thin, fat, skinny, tall. Okay, all of that. <laughs> this is um, where I live. This is my cousin, Crystal. Ah! How's it going? How do you feel? Good. This is How fun. do you feel about meeting me? Great. Are you, surpri are you surprised? Kind of. But I'm who cares, man? It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you like to do for uh... for fun? Lately, my, my big thing is uh, <clears throat> embracing being unemployed. I like... never had a, like a, a summer vacation growing up because I was a kid that always like worked and like did stuff. Because by the time I was 17, I was a hairdresser and like ran a salon and. Whoa. I did a lot of stuff. Yeah, so I grew up really fast. I grew up kind of fast, too, because at 16, I was going to high school and got into the working out and the okay. bodybuilding tour. And What do you think of that, buddy? God, yes. yeah. It's pretty. God. So you like to work out? No, I don't ever work out. I'm such a bum. <laughs> That's 105 in each hand. No way. So that's 210 pounds. That's like me in one hand. How long have you been doing this? Over nine years. Okay. Wow. So it's based like this. Uh -huh. While you're laying down, it's just that. It's just that. Oh, I have to lay go like this. Go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> One more. I one think more. I'm gonna have one to. More. <laughs> one more. Okay, oh. got it. Got it. One, two, three. Do you ever feel bad about your tush? I always feel good about my tush. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to that one. One, two, three. Okay, that's fine. Were you really nervous about meeting me? Uh, no. I want to find somebody that, that you know, basically be the best friends. Oh yeah. And and the thing is, I, like, sex thing happens. It happens, but I'm not a kind of guy that controls that. I went on my first date when I was like 19. <laughs> so you didn't have confidence, or? No, I, I well. Maybe it was a combination of both. I just didn't really notice men until like um, until I was about 19 years old. I didn't really care. Did you go to prom and stuff? At prom, uh, I didn't end up going to prom. Yeah, I was, neither did I. Was I. Dis I was discouraged. Um, so when's your last? When's your last relationship? Yeah. Um, well, my last relationship uh, was a while ago. Um, while wow, meaning a month? Like a year ago. Yeah, I mean, I've been on dates. I've been dating quite frequently. So what are you looking for in the relationship? Right now, I'm not. I want I want to date as many people as I can and get to know as many people as I can so then I can take stock, you know what I mean? Like, I got little little customer cards here and everyone's got different points going on. And, and what do I like about this person more? Like, I'm, I'm looking at resumes right now. I'm taking, taking in everything. Okay. And what do you think about dating a little man? What do I, what do I feel like, what's my opinion on it? Hmm. Going for a little bit, so. 
I don't think it, I don't think it's any different than dating a normal sized person. I think you're just as normal as anyone else, like, wow. or just as weird as anyone else, rather. <laughs> Once you hang up with the mic, once you start the bump and grinding, and, and that, then you'll be all over the floor, I'm telling you. But you'll have know. other dudes bumping and grinding. Oh, I hope not. You know, it, <laughs> Too much for my mind. Or you'll have other girls bumping and grinding. See, sometimes we do like a train. Oh my god. You know, and then you just snake it and it out of <laughs> A train of bumping and grinding? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to our blind date. <laughs> Is it a successful one? Oh, it's, I'm having a good time, are you? I'm having a great time. Good, good. Right, definitely. But to be honest, I don't think we're looking for the same thing in a person, mm -hmm. um, in like relationships and things like yeah. that. But I think that we could definitely hang out hang as friends. Out. Like okay. totally, because you're looking for something a little different than what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Uh, well, right now I'm just looking. <laughs> oh, look how cute your little cobblestone is. It's cute. Yeah. All right, well, I'll see you hey, later. See you later. Had a great time. <laughs> Hopefully see you again. Okay, bye. -bye. bye. Hey, you got to give Mighty Mike the credit. The man stepped it up. But I'm thinking a second date with Brandy's a uh, pretty tall order. Post-date wrap-ups on the way. Coming up. Would you have ever guessed that I was in Playboy? She bears all about bearing it all. And I hope this doesn't get on TV. True Confessions, coming up. What do you think about dating a little bit? I don't think it, I don't think it's any different than dating a yeah. normal sized person. I think you're just as normal as anyone else, like, wow. or just as weird as anyone else, rather. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that was comforting. Almost as comforting as that front row seat in Brandy's friend zone. The first impression I got from Mike when I first met him was uh, obviously that he was uh, a lot different than most people. When uh, Brandy opened the door, uh, she didn't uh, hesitate. She didn't go like, no. Uh, she accepted me into her house. When Mike told me that he and his friends referred to him as Mighty Mike, um, I couldn't help but laugh. When Brandy told me that she wanted to meet a lot of different people, you know, I feel that I was a different person and I, I feel that I'm good as any. I have to give Mike a lot of props. He's um, a real confident guy, real outgoing. Yes, I would love to go out on another date with Brandy. No, there will not be a second date with Mighty Mike. And the reason why I would have to say is definitely because we're not looking for the same things romantically in people. So there's no joy in Dateville. The Mighty Mikey has struck out. All right, coming up, one dater gets overexposed. A revealing true confession. Next. You are the fuck. You're up on stage. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out. Now, sometimes we get daters that really like to cut loose. Daters like Nicole. Her spring break date, she had no problem letting it all hang out during a very exciting bikini contest. But that really wasn't surprising, considering what Nicole told us in her true confession. I can't even explain to you how much different dating is out here. How can I say this nicely? The guys are here. Here they all they want to do is go to clubs and go home and try to have a few shots of tequila. You know, just, you know, let it all loose. Let it all hang out, you know, have fun. Whenever I'm drinking, it's, uh, you know, you get a little uh, call in you. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, be a little violent. Sex is not a priority. It's just, you know, if it happens, it's gonna happen. And there's nothing I can do about that. Would you have ever guessed that I was in Playboy? I was just topless. I was just topless, don't worry. But, I mean, my bottoms were shown, but that's something a lot of people don't know about me, and I hope this doesn't get on TV. I'm proud of it because one day I want to look back and tell my kids, you know what, your mom was hot one day, let me tell you. I like living in the moment. You know, if you feel like doing something, 
And you know what? Do it. Who cares? Ah, words of wisdom indeed. All right, that'll do it for today's exciting episode. I'm Roger Lodge. I'll see you tomorrow.